Hey guys, so today in this video I'm going to be talking about this cooler that I made out of a cooler. Uh. So today I'm going to be talking about this cooler I made out of cheap wood and an air conditioner. Alright, welcome back to the kitchen counter. Our, uh, we have this air conditioner all sorts of apart. Uh, yeah, we got her taken apart. We were looking for this little box right here where all the electronicals, well, lack thereof, are. Um, what I found is that um, we got two pieces of controllery here. First being the, um, the the mode selector here. Do not take this apart. It's spring and spring and yeah, yeah. Put your safety squints on. Okay. This guy. This guy right here is our um, temperature control knob. It was on the top, and as you see in the front face, the top is where, well, whatever. The top is where the control knob was. That's what we're looking for. And we can see there's no circuit board, which is good news. It means that this is just a relay, essentially. All right, so as you saw from the last clip when we had that air conditioner apart, all that little knob is is it's just a relay and so it's a temperature control relay well we can build one of those with an Arduino and a solid state relay uh, we could have used any relay but I chose a solid state because it's a little bit faster I can use it for other projects too and as opposed to those crappy Chinese ones that you get in your Arduino kits this one is 40 amps um, and it's cooled it's um, yeah so it should be a good deal it's sitting in the cooler so I'm not worried about it getting too hot um, and controlling that relay is this Arduino. It has two temperature probes. I've started with one temperature probe and I'll tell you why that didn't work out. But this one here controls the ambient temperature. Basically I set a high temperature threshold and a low temperature threshold. And when it hits the high one, it turns on the compressor through the relay, which then cools the cooler. When it hits the low uh, temperature threshold, it turns off the relay which turns off the compressor which lets the cooler warm up again and it just sort of cycles in and out and we have to be careful for our duty cycle there um, which is why we have this here connected to the confuser so out of here it just goes straight into the confuser into the computer and it uh, it just monitors that temperature saves it to a CSV file I'll go over that a little bit later but uh, for now all we know is, is that we control it with this temperature sensor. Secondly, the reason why I need two temperature sensors is because when I started with just the one, the air conditioner kept freezing up like the the radiator on it would turn to solid ice and it was no good. Once it turned to solid ice, this guy kept getting warmer and warmer and warmer and so it kept the air conditioner on for longer and it just was 100% duty cycle at that time which is no bueno because uh, for one we don't want our compressor running full bore all the time we want it to be on and off on and off and let it cool etc secondly it it never actually cooled the cooler so our cooler then just became a fancy ice box with not enough ice in it to keep the flowers cool and when the ice melted it dripped on the flowers ruining the flowers in two ways because they're both hot and wet so that was a problem, which is why we got a second uh, temperature sensor. And the second temperature sensor, I wrapped it in tape so that it would fit real nice up next to the radiator. And then it measures the temperature of the radiator. Now, if this thing starts to be covered in ice, it's going to uh, have two, like, the temperature is going to go way down to below 30, you know, 32 degrees. And so I measured it to, I think I set it to 34 degrees. When it got below 34 degrees, then I considered it frozen. And so when it was frozen, it basically just shuts off the relay, which shuts off the compressor, which allows that radiator to cool, allowing us to, to not have the ice build up. And so that's why there are two temperature probes, and that's why on your commercial units, you, yeah, uh, they have two temperature probes as well. What we have is uh, we've got a cooler, and inside of there, there's an Arduino. The Arduino comes. This is the cord that goes into the Arduino, 
and uh, it comes out and it comes into this computer and right now the temperature is 40.28 degrees alrighty we are on the maiden voyage with actual flowers inside the cooler um, so yeah so far we're only down to 72 degrees so we'll see how that goes